One of the reasons why we meditate is so that we can be ready for anything. Things come up in the body, things come up in the world. Today was supposed to be a sunny day, now look at it. Now they're forecasting rain. You need a part of the mind that can be okay with whatever comes up. This is one of the reasons why we keep reminding ourselves about aging, illness, and death, separation. These things happen all the time. And they are normal, as the Thai translation says. So that way we can prepare for them. Most people just put them out of their minds. And of course, that means that when they do happen, they're not prepared. So it's good to reflect every day. One of the reasons we're training the mind is so it can be ready for anything. You look at the history of the world, all kinds of things have happened. And even the mind itself is very changeable. As the Buddha says, there's nothing so quick to change as the mind. Here he was a master of analogies, and he said there's really no appropriate analogy for how quickly the mind can change. So you have to develop a quality that inside that you can really trust. So with the changes in the world, the changes in the mind, there's something in there that will not change along with it. So this is one of the reasons why we don't just let our thoughts wander around wherever they might go. We try to keep them trained, staying with one thing, so you can learn how to trust your mind a little bit more. Because we need these qualities of mindfulness, alertness, ardency, to turn the mind into something we can trust. If we don't have mindfulness, we learn something, but then we forget it, or we forget to apply it. If we don't have alertness, we don't really know what's going on. And if there's no ardency, things can come and go, and nothing gets developed. As the Buddha said, if the mind is trained only with equanimity, then it doesn't really develop at all. You need to know when to watch, when to, when to investigate, when to be equanimous, when to make an effort. In the same way that a goldsmith, sometimes when he puts the gold in, he puts it into the heat. Sometimes he takes it out, looks at it. Sometimes he blows on it. That way the gold gets purified the way he wants it, and then he can do what he wants with it. The same way with the mind. You learn how to have a balanced training. So the mind gets into a shape where you can do what you want with the mind. In other words, you're in control. So remember these qualities, ardency, alertness, mindfulness. These are the things that make you dependable, because we live in a very undependable world. But if you have something inside that you can depend on, then you're safe. <laughs>